last May, and it's come a long way. We've got four grow beds running, and we have over 20 varieties of plants in the greenhouse. Uh, there are 13 students, and we're harvesting plants for the farmer's market. We have Swiss chard, collard greens, green beans, and basil. So far, tomatoes are next on the list. So we have to feed the fish every day. They clean the biofilter once a week. So we have to do water quality once a week to make sure that all the parameters are correct. strawberries in and rather than a float system like we have in the grow beds we're going to put hydrogen in each of these pockets so the roots can grow in the gravel. Yeah. Aquaponics is a good option if you don't have a lot of space so you can put a lot of plants pretty close together just move the water more quickly through the roots so they can get the nutrients they need and it uses a lot less water because it's rather than watering a field or watering in a greenhouse where a lot of it runs off. This is all kept in the system. We still lose about 100 gallons a week to evaporation, but it can be easily added back to the system. This idea came from the Disney aquaponic system and was brought back by our construction teacher, so it's good to see some new ideas coming here. And hopefully by the end of the school year we'll get some strawberries in. I'm excited to eat strawberries. Thanks so much.